It is so great to have Riley Foster join Soccer North. But before we get started, Riley, I want you to show a tattoo. I know you have a couple of them, but let's see the one on your arm there that says yeah. 1016. And that has meaning because it was October 16, 2021 at 1016 p.m. that you were on an international break. You were in Finland. You were on your way to a Drake concert with some friends when you yeah. had the car accident. You said, yeah. I should have been dead. Um, mm -hmm. What has it been like since that moment? It's been crazy. I mean, um, you go through a roller coaster of emotions when you kind of go through a traumatic event as such. And when you talk about near death experience and when you're, you're privileged to have life, you don't really understand what that means until you go through it. Um, so for me personally, it's been challenging to say the least. I think the first nine months were really hard, just being immobile, not really myself, not feeling the athlete I've always been or just fit in general. Um, but the last four months have been really, really progressive, being in the gym, uh, rehabbing, working hard, and I'm just seeing a lot more strides forward than I used to see backwards. Um, so although it's been really challenging, it's been really positive, and um, I've learned a lot about myself through the whole process. Speaking of tattoos, um, playing for Liverpool, they play the song, they sing the song to their players, You'll Never Walk Alone. That too is a tattoo that you have. You actually got that after your grandmother passed away in 2013. How supportive has the club been during this journey? It's been amazing. I couldn't have wished for or hoped for a better situation possible. Like the club from minute one were right beside me with anything and everything I can need. They helped my family, they helped myself, they've helped me travel, they've helped my sister and I travel. Everything's just been really forward. Um, and that could be different in a lot of women's sports and you never know what could happen. I think I was one of the things I was scared about was, am I gonna have a contract at the end of the day? Am I gonna be able to like get back and do my rehab with them? But Liverpool was like guaranteed me 100% safety and security and have been nothing but supportive. Along with the club, the fans have been absolutely amazing um, and I couldn't thank them enough. You've documented your journey the last year on social media. Uh, why was it important for you to have others see what you were going through and, and also see the progress you're making? I think for me, it's a matter of just being honest and transparent with what I'm going through. A lot of people um, may go through trauma, but no one really knows the journey and the ins and outs of it. And then on top of that, it's also something for me to look back upon. Um, like the other day, I found myself looking at my Instagram feed, just scrolling to see how fragile and thin I looked and how ill I looked. But now I look at myself now and I feel so much stronger and more powerful. So a bit of it's for everyone else to see and to I hope to inspire one person at least, but also for myself to look back upon and say, you know, like you've done it and you're, you're still doing it and you've come so far. You are an inspiration and you've been working hard. You've represented Canada at the youth level and you had received a senior call up as well before, you know, the accident happened. What's the goal from a pro standpoint, obviously, you know, wanting to get back on the pitch with Liverpool and just kind of where do you also see yourself in representing Canada? Yeah, I've made the 100% commitment to make the full return to football for a while. It was up in the air, just not sure what was best for my health and longevity, but I owe it to myself. I'm not going to do all this work for nothing, but reality is I'm really pushing for the Olympics with the national team. Um, I was really close to the last cycle, and I just hope that I can get back as match fit as I can, get some games in my belt, and hopefully Bev will call me back into camp and I can prove myself again. But all truths is I'm just happy to be able to have the opportunity to return um, that I'm healthy enough and fit enough to even say these words because there was a time where I honestly had no clue if that was going to be possible and many people didn't either. Well, keep doing what you're doing. You're looking fantastic. You're right because you've been able to document it. We've also been able to see the progress that you've made and we really want to see it between the sticks. Riley, appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. If you enjoyed this content, don't miss anything that we're putting out on Soccer North. Be sure to download the CBC Gem app, head to the App Store, and hey, it's free.